In the rural town of Drumcolagher in County Limerick, Antonna Gloss has been sharing knowledge about growing and sustainable living skills for 20 years now. While organic crop production is top of our list here, students learn a lot more than that in their time at this college. <laughs> I know. I know. An important part of what we learn at the college is all about the metal. The metal simply means working together and we all know that we get an awful lot more done when we don't do things on our own and we learn a lot more about life. And while the college is an institution, the real institution here is Jim McNamara. The Irish name for Yarrow is uh, Ahar Talun. Father of the earth. Father of the soil. Is this yeah. one of the key four or five ingredients that you can add to compost to increase the activity of the compost? So, uh, and in biodynamics, it's a preparation which Steiner worked out totally independent of the Irish language. Steiner didn't know any Irish. And um, how you'll know it in tillage, this is early stages. But you can you'll never Sorry. mistake it. The leaf okay, has yeah. what's called a mealy surface. Is it facing south? Is it facing south? Is it facing south? All plants face to the sun. There is no sun behind me. Here is our enterprise acre which we spend a lot of time in early spring preparing for planting. You can see the daffodils are already busy blooming. It's important to get seedlings into the ground nice and early. Crops like salads and peas need to get a good head start. Here students are learning an old skill called digging a lazy bed, which is basically planting potatoes without having to dig up a whole field. During a willow workshop, we all work together to create a beautiful willow fence that still thrives in the college garden. As well as being magical creatures, bees are an essential element to the permaculture cycle. At the college we keep two successful hives, bees are always busy. One of the best parts of the college is putting on the bee suits and working up close with the bees who are frantically busy producing all their honey. Day trips out are an important part of the learning process. You can learn a lot from other farmers and growers and see how they do it. You can go on long walks. And you can make new friends, and you can even learn about hugging trees. They are all spots, are they? They're a mix of a height, 57 varieties, I call them. A bit of everything. Jersey. Hello, girls. I was going there. Kate is an award-winning cheesemaker of the very well-known Bale Organic Cheddar Cheese, which she makes using an age-old process in her purpose-built workshop. So these are nice and moldy mature cheddars. And they look great. Oh, more on the cheddar as opposed to... Yeah. I use the cheddar in process to make it. It's important to get out of the classroom and have a little bit of fun sometimes. Uh, I know this is a rock rose. See more in nature and make a few furry friends. Some of us kissed a few frogs along the way, and some of us found true love. In Dublin, like morning, no. this is just more than a little breakfast as I for putting to this. The Rainbow Hostel of Dublin. We have done our yoga and now we eat. We celebrated the winter solstice on top of a hill. We had special visitors come and visit us, and of course, we did get our qualifications after all that study, and went on to become professional organic growers. Special friendships were formed, 
and of course, a lot of work got done. A good day.